Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another unboxing video for you today. And I think I have to say that this is probably the weirdest instrument I have unboxed to date. Inside of here is an automatone. And if you've never heard of an automatone, you're probably not alone. It's a very unusual instrument. It comes from Japan. And you know what, instead of talking about it, let's just get this box open and take a look. Um, now I've never played an automatone before. I have no idea what to expect. I've certainly seen videos of them. I know what they are, but uh, we'll find out. We'll find out how this is gonna go. This will be my first attempt at a tomatone. So, we get the box open here. We got some packing material. And there it is. So. There you have it. And you're, if you're if you've never seen one of these four before, you're probably making a funny face right now because it looks like a music note. And it's actually designed to look like a music note. It looks like a, um, was that an eighth note? Yeah, an eighth note. Um, so anyway, it kind of resembles that and they come in different colors. This one's clear. They come in various different colors and they also come in different sizes. And this is like the medium size one. And then there's a larger one that's probably about that big. And then there's a smaller one that's like really small. Um, and, uh, Again, my first time attempting to play one, but this is an electronic instrument. It, it generates um, the tones like a synthesizer, and it has, well, let's go ahead and get the box open here, and then we'll take a closer look. Okay, so as we open the box here, we can see there's some instructions here on how to use it and all that kind of stuff. It takes four double A, or excuse me, triple A batteries. There is also, now there is getting to play kind of instruction here. And uh, anyway, so I'm not gonna go over all that, but it does have some of that. Let's go ahead and get the automaton out. So here's close up. I realize the, the light coming through the window there is really kind of blowing it out. And then I've got additional light as well, so. But here's what it looks like. Again, this one is the clear version. Okay, and so I also noticed this little thing at the top here actually turns. So when they pack it, they have it kind of off to the side here so it'll lay flat uh, in the box. But you could turn it backwards if you want to have more of that musical note shape. Or you could turn it forwards if you want it out of the way. Or I don't know, maybe you could hang something from there. I don't know, I'm not sure. But you can see here there's sort of a ribbon uh, controller here. And that's actually how you make the notes. So you will move your finger up and down this to change the pitch of the note. And I believe the pressure, again, I've never tried to play one, I believe it's actually the pressure that, that triggers the start of the note. But then you see there's this little kind of head down here. They put eyes on it so it looks like a, a face. And as I squeeze this, you can see it, its mouth appears to open. So this, there's actually a speaker inside here. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but there's actually a speaker inside the little head here. And that's where the sound comes out. So if you have it like this, the sound's gonna be very muffled. If you have it like this, the sound's gonna be very clear. But then you can do this to get kind of a, a sort of vibrato effect as you're playing it. I know I said it was weird, but that's how it works. Let's get some batteries in this thing and hear what it sounds like. Okay, I have batteries in the automaton now, and I think I said earlier that it takes four AAAs. It actually takes three, if I said that, I'm sorry. So it takes, and you can probably just kind of see them across here, but three AAA batteries. And then on the back, we have a few switches. So this top switch has off, low volume, and high volume. And then the bottom switch has middle octave, low octave, and high octave. Um, Let's just start with middle and we'll go to the low volume and let's see what happens here. If I touch this, we should get a note. And as you can hear, it sounds very muffled. Now it's louder. So that's what the automaton does. And again, you can use the kind of mouth here to do a vibrato. Now I actually, it's not very loud, so I'm gonna go to the loud setting. That's better. So that's what it does. Now, I am not sure, uh, there's no markings or anything on this little ribbon. So I don't know how you pick a G versus an A versus a C other than, you know, just by ear. 
So um, this may be horrible. I'm just gonna warn you in advance, but let's see what it sounds like if I try to play a melody. Oh God, <sighs> let's try that again. Okay, so the pitch is quite nebulous. I mean, you, you really, I'm, I'm sure you just need some practice to figure out, it's kind of like a fretless instrument. You gotta figure out where the, the notes are, but you can see the, uh, the general idea. That's really bad, but you get, you get the idea. Let's try the low setting. Oh, I like that. This is not an easy instrument to play, let me tell you right now. Let's try the high setting. Oh, very squeaky. <laughs> okay, so this is a, um, a uh, less than intuitive instrument simply because the pitches are very nebulous. Let's go back to that middle octave. And I think I like the low one the best, but let's go back to the middle for a second. So that was my first time attempting to play the automaton, and uh, I suppose it sounded like it. Um, this is a very odd instrument, but you can find these on Amazon, on eBay, um, you know, pretty much, pretty much any sort of retailer like that. Um, you might occasionally find one at, at an actual like guitar store, but pretty rare because these aren't very popular um, in the States. In Japan, you might be able to find them at a music store, but uh, anyway, kind of almost more of a toy than an instrument, kind of in the way that it's marketed, but there you go. So if you're interested in something like this, how you doing? Hey. This is the automaton and uh, that's how you play it. And uh, that's probably what you can expect <laughs> your first experiment experience. It will probably be as bad as mine. You know, this channel is all about musical miscellany and this is about the most miscellaneous thing that makes music that I've seen to date. So I think it's appropriate. Anyway, if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I will see you guys in the next video.